Hey, this is Mike. I'm down at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out this really sweet uh, Chevrolet Corvette Stingray uh, 3LT, and just in a, it's like a what they've done with the new Corvettes is just really like a kind of lean more towards the supercar type look and they did a really good job with this one this one's very similar to the uh, 2015's but um, you know Judd Kuhn they sell a lot of cars so they sold all the 2015 cars over the holidays so um, this is the closest thing I can get right now which is still pretty awesome It's got the slotted rotors, um, high performance brake systems. They look like Brembo's, but not really sure. I'm not a Corvette expert, so you're going to have to forgive me on any kind of errors or omissions on this one. But I just want to kind of show you what I'm seeing. Looks like it's got some LEDs coming down the side, as well as like an L shaped hockey stick right here. Hybrid. Uh, High intensity uh, projector headlight there. Not seeing any fog lights. And this vehicle is a 2014 has 500 miles, so um, it might have been a demo or something like that. It's it's not a a used um, an abused vehicle, obviously. Alright, I've got the keys here. That's what the key looks like. So, I'm just going to put the key in my pocket because it's a proximity type key. So, there's a little button on the inside here. I'm just going to push that button. It opens it up. Here's the inside of the passenger door. And you've got like a, like a red and black interior here which is awesome but it's not a cheesy red it's like a real kind of like a deeper looking red it looks looks good and you've got the it's accented with this red stitching here it does have a pre premium Bose sound system big speaker there little speaker there got a little pocket there and you've got the stingray badge here in the thres threshold power seat are here on the passenger side you got some really like uh, micro perforations here on the seat glove compartment opens up like so hey there's the window sticker let's check that out I'd like to see didn't know it was in here All right, 2004, 14 Corvette, Stingray. There's the features. Look at that, 29 miles per gallon on the highway. Use the pause button if you want to, because I'm just kind of panning around. 19 inch tires in the front, 20 in the back. It's got the 6.2 liter V8, 7-speed manual transmission. Alright, let's put that back. Now inside of the glove compartment, it's kind of small, but it is um, it is like felt lined. I'm trying to be careful with it. Here's the back. And there's the exhaust right here. It's got like a quad exhaust right here in the center. A little bit of a spoiler here. Now this car could use some a little bit of tin on the glass. 
So I'm going to use the key um, to go ahead and open up the, the back. So we can see what's back here. Now I'm noticing on the back of the seats they're kind of like shiny plastic there, which is pretty cool. It looks like you got a, it's not real deep down here, but it's got plenty of room. I mean, you can put like a big picture or, you know, you can put a good, pretty good amount of stuff back here. We'll the storage pocket here. All right, let's close this down. Now there's a capless fuel design, fuel delivery design right here, so you don't have to worry about putting a cap back on. And check out these T-tops. They have like a carbon fiber look to them. I guess not T-tops, but like a one solid piece that comes off would be more accurate. But you can see it has like a carbon fiber look to it when you look at it on the sun. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You've got your pre uh, presets here, door locks, power windows. Now you push that button to exit, and it's electric, but it does have a, a manual uh, button there, it's like a lever so you can lift up to exit the vehicle, just in case, in case the battery goes dead or something. It's got side airbags there. Stingray badge. Now, before I go in there, I'm going to go ahead and look under the hood. Very light fiberglass hood. Has Stingray underneath the hood there. Huge engine. It's covered with plastic most of it though. But you still you get to see some of it. Very impressive car. And you see the engine goes all the way up to the hood. It's like the, it's pressed up against the hood when you close it. Let's go ahead and drop that down. Like so. It's got the little Corvette symbol there and the molded in the plastic. Nice little touch. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze in here. So one of them cars which you gotta get situated in, then it's comfortable. For me, I'm kind of a, you know, kind of large man, so tall and um, overweight and all that good stuff. So getting in one of these and getting in and out all the time would be a little bit difficult or a little bit uncomfortable. But once you're in it, it's uh, very, uh, you know the side bolsters here on the seats kind of keeps you in place the headroom is a little bit it's a little bit low but I mean the top does come off so all right so here's the steering wheel and um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the screens here without starting it right now. There's your your HUD display, and you get your uh, digital speedometer and a digital analog style, um, you know, RPMs, tachometer, whatever you want to call it. Let me push the button again. Maybe everything will. Now let's just turn everything off. I guess I'm going to have to start it up. So let me go ahead and um, make sure it's neutral. Push the clutch. Start it up. Alright. So 
right now it's telling me that the door is open and that the parking brake is on which is good it does have a power electric parking brake the sun's kind of glaring on the camera but there you notice now that everything you have a regular speedometer over there goes up to 200 miles an hour and uh, there's your temperature and your fuel now here's your steering wheel it doesn't have a flat bottom it would be nice if it did but it is pretty cool cruise control on that side and uh, right here I'm just gonna kind of push this buttons here and see what it does because I don't know I'm not sure what that does not seeing anything going on see a, a HUD button over here let's push that <laughs> all right so I don't know I'm not sure what these buttons do it could be that the door is open so let me shut the door okay that's what it is so now I can scroll down trip A trip B uh, fuel range oil life is at 60% and there's the tire pressures average speed limit okay so I guess you can set a speed limit engine hours Man, I wish it wasn't a glare there but let's see here how about that the steering wheel can do that so basically you can kind of scroll through there and get different information pretty neat feeling a little bit of rumble oh check this out let's see if I can get this on camera it's got the little reflection on the windshield so it gives you a little heads up display that might be what the um, this little button here is for cool you can change it to just anything you want that's pretty neat at night time I mean you can see it pretty good and there's sun shining right in my face and you can see it very well interesting all right so let me zoom back out and looking at the dash it looks awesome of course it's a this is a nice nice car very very um, high quality you got carbon fiber accents touch screens um, this is the seven speed manual transmission I'm not sure I guess this is you can select the degree of what what kind of traction control you want to turn off so you can do some serious uh, um, some serious donuts or whatever you want there got a volume button here you got your like paddle shifters I guess here rev match it says you guys are gonna have to fill me in on these on this car this is um, this is my first time on a Corvette now it's got ventilated seats cool got ventilated seats heated seats uh, here's a touch screen uh, radio your phone um, navigation let's see what that screen looks like it's kind of zoomed in right now let's zoom out let's see what it looks like looks pretty good you can you can read it pretty good all right so let's go back home um, settings Pandora you can check the weather on star let's see what this that's your presets fan speed temperature on this side got a power supply that pops up there cup holders there Armrest is here and this flips up and there's your USB ports and auxiliary and it's got a, a um, SD card Power supply there a little shallow pocket, but you know, whatever It's not a it's not a SUV Passenger has their own controls for their climate and their heat their seat over there. That's pretty neat on star SOS buttons there home link um, garage door openers now check out the little baby uh, little visors I mean it's adequate but it's like little tiny ones 
since the the roof is so low you just you know that little tiny visor is uh is what you use i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and um but yeah i mean this is a pretty neat car I notice it's got like this handle right here. I guess you can, the driver can use it or the passenger can use it. You're going to take off so fast that uh, you're going to need a handle there and a handle there. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. And I know I did a, um, you know, I'm not familiar with this car and just kind of showing you what I see. So if there's any kind of things that you can add in the comments and get the conversation going as far as um, making this video a little bit more valuable to people, and uh, with the information in the comments, I'd really appreciate it because, um, you know, I guess they don't have access to these type of cars very very often. This is the first time, really. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you watching. If you have any, uh, any comments, questions, or clarifications, corrections, you know, stuff like that, just leave it in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.